a boy. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Good job. Riggins. Break. Break. Down. Hi. Very good, very good. An interesting thing about the e-collar and the prom, when you're going to use them together, say you want to start adding in some e-collar, no matter the command, as long as you're using the prom collar, the rule that I usually do is as soon as I start to put pressure on that leash and it starts to collapse in, that's when the e-collar pressure will turn on. So it's almost like to the dog, it's like the same uh, it's almost like the same tool causing the sensation. So I did a couple, couple lay, lay, uh, a couple reps of just luring him down to the leash. He went down pretty smooth. So now, as soon as I grab the leash and start to put pressure, as soon as he starts to feel pressure, the e-collar comes on as well. And what will happen over time is I actually won't have to use this. I'll be able to rely on just the e-collar pressure, so, which is the goal. Break. I know down is not the most exciting command to learn. It's probably the least exciting command to learn. <laughs> Good Very good boy. Very good. Let's see if we can start developing this better. Break. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, we're going to get to the thick of this so that makes the hat go on backwards. Just like an 80s film. All right, now I'm gonna stand up. Boy. Now I'm gonna start using the word. I'm gonna say down. I'm gonna click on the e-collar. I'm gonna guide his little leash. Down. Good boy. I'm trying to get off in the leash. Good boy. I'm trying to get off in the leash um, and get onto the e-collar and if he needs information, hopefully just a little hand signal will get him to lay down. Uh, because when we are off leash, I don't have the leash to give him that information. So I want to rely on the word, the e-collar, and then maybe some visual, like the hand signal, which he looks like he's picking up on. Good boy. Break. Very down. Very good boy. There is no use of any tools. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Break. Which is always a very important rep. That was his first one he did without any leash guidance, without any e-collar. So he gets to learn that, oh, I can just lay down when he says down and the e-collar doesn't turn on and the prompt doesn't get activated. Down, little gesture, click, 
down. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Break. Nice. Nice work. Nice work, Bob. Very good work. This one. Down. Down. Good boy. You gotta watch the wheels turn on that one. That was good. Good boy. The only thing he needed was a click on the e card, which is the goal. No. Down. Very nice. Good boy. Break. Nice work. Now I'm going to let him chill. I'm actually going to put him in a down. This is very much how we teach plays as well. And I'm going to just have him stay in a down. If he gets up, no, ask him to go back in a down. And this is more, it's a little more passive because he's just gonna be hanging out while I drink more coffee. Okay. Down. Down. A little higher on the top. Down. You gotta get the right number here. Down. Good. As the session goes on, I think we covered this the other day. Very common for the numbers to go up because the dog loses interest. Okay? All right. Slams the bit for a while.